，就不是干了那只唱歌尖的。Good morning, everybody. How are you guys doing today? Welcome back to China. We are currently in Suzhou City, and we're going exploring a bit. We've come to a beautiful traditional gardens. It is called the Fisherman Gardens, and look at this amazing moon door that we have just been spending way too long getting Taking photos. photos. <laughs> oh, you got some bonsai trees here, Jess. Ah, oh, this is so cool. This garden was built like 900 years ago. I love coming to historical sites. I think this is a UNESCO World Heritage, but. It is a very cool first stop of the trip. We've just come outside. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful, and it is nice to be blessed with some sun. So interesting coming to this because I've been to so many fake versions of like the Chinese gardens. I think the last one we went to was, I think Vancouver, somewhere in Canada. And you come here and it almost feels not real. But then you realize that this is actually the original like Chinese gardens. <laughs> You're trying to wrap your head around it is is super interesting. So we've decided to order a Chinese Uber. <laughs> Your carriage awaits for you. Sit in. Yeah, go ahead. Is there space for me? It's so interesting. So we're on like a rickshaw, and you think in Asia you just hand over cash, but here in China. They're all using WeChat. It's kind of like WhatsApp, but next level. And they we just even went to Macca's, and they were like, "Do you want to pay on WeChat?" It's so weird. Imagine paying for things on WhatsApp, and, yeah. and especially on like a rickshaw, where in like in Asia, you just assume just to hand over some cash. <laughs> oh, here we go. So our guide with us was saying, uh, "Have you been on one of these one of these before?" And we said no, and then he burst out laughing. And he's like, "Good luck." I was like, "What?" I don't know what to expect. Oh no. <laughs> oh, the canals are so beautiful here. Up, down. <laughs> We're currently in the old town. And the buildings are so beautiful. Yes, I love visiting even like the ancient towns here. Oh, the lantern. They are. Thank you. Shishi. 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 We have arrived at lunch. Oh wow. Oh, you can see in the kitchen. That is the biggest dumpling <laughs> basket I've ever seen. Oh my goodness, this place is amazing. It is only like almost 11, but I've worked myself an appetite. This place is really cool. Guys, this is jellyfish with thousand-year-old duck eggs, right. and Stephen's game enough to try it. Jellyfish. Jellyfish. <laughs> jellyfish. Jellyfish. It's like squishy. <laughs> <laughs> like jellyfish. <laughs> You're ready for the food channel. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, he's with terrible at explaining um, foods. And the thousand-year-old duck egg. Oh. Just do it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> How does that taste? Cold. <laughs> it tastes, it tastes like old. egg. That's not too bad. Isn't it? I do know it is. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we've just come to our next stop. We're at a water village, so it's an ancient town again, and it's gonna look really beautiful because you have a, if you have a look just over here, there's a lot of these bridges on these like thin canals. Oh, this one's probably better, this one just here. And it's really You know why beautiful. they have all the canals? Why? Because they didn't have cars. So, so they, then what they would do is you would like if you're wanting to get around, you would take your boat along and then you'd dock them here, walk up, go do your shopping, then go back in and go around. That's cool, hey? Yeah, this is really awesome. Locals just enjoying the river. 
Oh, this is so cool. I can now see what Jess was talking about because you can see the steps up into the shops and all the different houses as well. You can actually buy them, Steve. Yeah? No. They wrap them up. How much are they? Do you think they would actually work? Or do you think they eventually all the rain would? I think it's for show. Sure. But they it does look. They wear them. Like they use them in the rain. Do they? Yeah. Oh, that's Lotus why. Panning on it. Wow. <laughs> Chinese writing, calligraphy. Yeah. Calligraphy on it. Which one do you prefer? What is that? I don't know what this is. Uh, what is it? Oh, yogurt. Oh, yogurt. They made Stephen go on stage. This is when you take Instagram shots to the next level. <laughs> For my Chinese opera debut, I've worked up a bit of a thirst, so we're gonna go head out and have some traditional Chinese tea down this very cool and unique looking street. Like, look at these just... I don't even know what they are. They're like comic books. Chinese Stan Lee doesn't want us taking pictures of his comic books. <laughs> Alrighty, we found the traditional tea house just around the corner and the lady is singing to us. I told you the lady was singing to us. Traditional green tea. This tea house is actually a really unique experience. I think because we managed to just stop, take it all in, I just realized we're on a canal. Some traditional Chinese music is being played live for us, and we're having some tea. This is a really special moment. I'm enjoying this. I think this, is, this has been the highlight so far. They're not lying when they're saying the streets are narrow. We are trying to get to the water. Literally, like, if you're claustrophobic. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is a back alley I usually wouldn't walk down, but... I, you can't hear anything. Literally, just straight off the busy streets, behind these walls, you can't hear anything. What? That is so cool. We have to do that. We have to go in that. Thank you so much. Cheers. <laughs> is it a bit wobbly? <laughs> Balance out the boat. This is very cool. <laughs> This is so cool. This is very, very awesome. Okay, this beats the tea house. Dad, you are going to get so excited. We are just currently coming past the egret or egret birds. These are the ones that the local fishermen use to fish. Literally trained those birds to fish for the fishermen. So they'll go catch fish and then bring them to the fishermen. Currently getting some uh, some paddling lessons. I think I think there's a bit of a language barrier, but I'll get it. This is pretty much the equivalent of the airport. All the taxis lining up. Alrighty, guys, we have now travelled an hour to a place that we're going to be spending the night. It's called Wuchi. It has the longest canal in the world, 
1700 kilometers and we're about to go on a boat. Another boat ride. This is as famous as the Great Wall of yeah. China, they say. That's what they say. The Chinese think that this is as famous as the Great Wall of China. What a, what a fancy boat. Ni hao. There's lollies, is there? No? I'm so full from dinner, but this is <laughs> fancy. Oh, more tea! Jess, we should have a Titanic moment on the longest canal in the world. Okay. Ready? Had it. <laughs> One, two, four, three, seven. I think I'm on the verge of a breakthrough. Night, guys. <laughs> a little boxes on the hillside. A little boxes made a ticky tacky. Little